Hey, it's Bart with the Scotch Test Dummies. I've been enjoying so many different things ever since Scott actually bought that Happiness is a Warm Bung that I actually got a hold of SMWS and said, um, tell me something that's different out there. And they said, hey, there's an outturn. It's not even an outturn. I forget what they call it. It was a special that had Armagnac and rum. And I, I've had some of their I, I don't I've had some of their rum before but not their Armagnac and I said I want to have both I want to try both so I've definitely wanted toasted marshmallows so I purchased and what I try am trying to do is branch out a little bit you'll see over my right shoulder a majority of everything I was buying was peated uh, heavily peated or lightly peated, and it's all cast strength, and I loved it. But, again, when Scott brought over some bottles that he bought that I would have never bought, I was blown away, and I thought, I need to branch out some more. Now, this is an Armagnac. This is A5.4. I haven't looked all that up. Uh, vintage 2001, but it was called Toasted Marshmallows. So I wanted to try it. Um, they did send along... A new style glass. So I have the old style glass and the new style glass has their new style this of the logo. So maybe I'll throw a photo in, maybe not. I'm going to put the Armagnac on the left here. I haven't even tried this yet. I did sample the rum. And the rum is called Guyanese rum, but it's called Goat Farms Esters and Vinyl Funk. That was freaky, so I thought... Let's do it. And it's 16 years old. So we'll pour a little bit of that as well. Again, my stated purpose and what I what we don't get to do a lot in the States is experience independent bottlers much. So SMWS is an independent bottler. So first of all, much darker color on this Armagnac. Um, I'm very ignorant on Armagnacs. I'm going to tell you that right now. Heck, I did a blind where I had it once and I didn't even know how to pronounce it right. So we are, I am, the Scotch Test Dummies. Oh, so um, I get a little bit of a touch of raisin, but it's like a light, almost like a crisp light fruit as well. Ooh, oh boy, that'll crawl up and get your nose. What's the proof? Um, I don't see it. Hmm. Let's try it. Hmm. Man, I can see why this fooled me. The last time I had Armin, I could fool me blind. Because I get the juices and, and a touch of that plum or dried grape, the raisin, but it's so powerful, mm, pleasant, like cream caramel, Car wow, the way I said caramel, what the heck was that, cream caramel, finish, wow, that's got a really nice long finish, hmm, well, I was looking for this, the, the toasted marshmallows would intrigue me, um, gentle toasting on skewers of warm oak wrapped in ripe candied fruit. Yeah, rounded off with a dusting of sawdust. I don't know if I got that. So, um, again, I bought, there's other bottles I bought here as well. Figured as long as I'm shipping, we'll ship more in. One of them has a great name called... I like big butts. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I can get Scott to do that one on a show. We'll see. I just love the title. I'm like, throw it in, the title. Um, but this is all about me experiencing different things. And I literally called up, talked to Ben Dietrich. Uh, you may even get him on the phone if you call him up and said, hey, um, I'm curious. I want to expand my palate from mostly peated. Ooh. So that is interesting. You do get a little bit of plastic, which they say vinyl funk. That's that's different. And what's odd is it 
It kind of has a plastic touch to it. So this is an older rum. Whew, boy, I don't want to get your nose too. Usually I can get my nose right in there on a high proof. Uh, is there a proof listed for this? 59.1%. Why did I not see that? Oh, there it is. 55.6 on this bad boy. That's funny. You definitely get like vinyl, like a, like a touch of plastic on the nose. Hmm. There's like a twinge of sour. I do see where there's a bit of a cheese, kind of a creamy, cheesy element. It's sweeter, but it's not overly sweet like rum you would imagine. Hmm. I don't even, it's got this almost like a, um, wow, it goes sweet later on the open. It's almost like a, um, it's not perfume, it's not even floral, but it's almost the sensation is, is overwhelming, kind of like when a woman wears a little bit too much perfume and it hits you too much, but then it immediately softens and goes sweet, and I don't even know really how to describe that better. Hmm. Mm hmm And there's touches of oak in there too, but they're they're the sweet oak, which I love. Interesting. So um don't be afraid is what I would tell you to stretch. Now, here's what you know you're gonna get um, when you're going, you can already tell by the higher proofs and the fact that they're, these are older, a vintage of 2001, and then this one's been aged 16 years from a single cask. Um, so I'm willing to experiment because I'm definitely finding new things, new horizons. If you wanna do that, SMWS is the way to go. And what the heck, you got a brand new, you can get a glass that fits this brand new style. You will see these over there. That area has been growing and taking over. I don't know what I'm going to do, but we'll see. Scotch it. You scotch gods. Dummies. She just says cilantro. Dummies. I think I like the rum.